Hello everyone, this is your girl as told by Banks and today I am coming to you with a how to tutorial video. In this video today I will be discussing how to obtain a passport. So the first thing that you're going to want to kind of make sure that you know the difference between is a passport book and a passport card. I would definitely recommend getting a passport book because it allows, this is what you need for international travel. Um, the price of a passport book is going to be, if this is your first time applying for one, it's going to be 110 bucks plus the $25 um, processing fee. So that comes out to be $135. That price is if you do not need your passport expedited. So to, for the application process to obtain a passport, you will need a the application form that you can get online or you can fill it out at the place where you will be doing the passport application where I went um, and where I would recommend is just Googling your local post office. And I know a lot of post office do the application process. You will need um, an original proof of citizenship. So bring in your birth certificate, an acceptable photo ID because they will photocopy the front and back of the photo ID. Um, your birth certificate, they actually will keep as part of the application process and then once the application has been approved and your passport is sent back your um birth certificate is usually sent back in a different envelope so after you receive your passport in the mail do not just throw away mail because i have a tendency to do that and i almost shredded my birth certificate before i was like wait a minute this is probably it came back from charleston south carolina so i was like Okay, let me open this and it was actually indeed my birth certificate. So you don't want to shred that up. And you will need a passport photo. So um, what I did, because I just want to make the process easier for me, most of the places that do um, the passport application will also take a photograph for you. I cannot remember if there was a fee for the photo, but the photo has to be um, two by two, white background, glossy paper. So it was just easier for me to go ahead and just allow them to take the photograph for me. If they did take it, it was on, it was a small fee. It wasn't a lot. Well, once again, take a valid proof of citizenship, a valid photo ID, the application to the front counter. And I know at most places you actually have to make an appointment. So I did make an appointment at my post office here um, because I did need the photograph taken. Like I said, price is going to be 110 bucks for a passport book and then a $25 execution fee, which is just pretty much the application fee for it. And then if you need it expedited, it's usually about an, an additional 60 bucks. I received my passport in about a month and I did not pay to get it expedited. So it really depends on the time of year that you are applying to get your passport, um, holiday times, you know, like spring break or anything like that. Usually they're gonna have a lot of applications um, so you want to make sure that you do it during the off season or just at as soon as possible because you just never know when you know the opportunity gonna come up and somebody be like, yo, you ready to go to Cancun? And you like, yeah, I mean, yeah. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions or if anything that I said has changed, please be sure to feel free to comment down below. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, also, but most importantly, subscribe to my channel because I bring a wealth of knowledge and you don't want to miss this train, boo. Okay? Once again, thanks for tuning in. Peace. It's like I ain't on and popping, boo. Yeah. Yeah.